if you're coming back from the other topic, I think I'm much more a businessman, I'm much more a liberal politics, and I'm not so much a theoretical professor for international the monetary systems, but I think my topic, especially also for my students and young people to be a medium-sized entrepreneur is a very important one. And uh, my two topics, a medium-sized business and automotive industry is a very important one. I think every third in Germany is engaged in medium small business or in automotive industry. And um, I could not think that uh, automotive industry is an old industry has gone. Uh, my experience, especially in Germany, is that from the beginning, the automotive industry was a key factor in Germany. And if you go uh, on the environmental issues or electric issue, uh, the automotive industry will be one of the key uh, industries in Germany. First, I will uh, underline three uh, topics, in my opinion, that Germany has a good chance uh, to get out of the economic crisis. First is, in my opinion, Germany still has a strong industrial manufacturing base Unlike deindustrialized states such as, for example, Great Britain or United States of America, Germany, my country, relies less on financial services, on insurance or investment banker, more in car industry, on mach machine production, pharmaceutical, industrial healthcare, chemistry, aviation. I think this industrial production basis is a key issue also for modern service industry like consulting, engineering, and also uh, the real uh, division between production and uh, uh, Dienstleistung service industry is not really right. Second, Germany profits from its central location in Europe. We have nine neighbors. We are in good relations with our European neighbors, we learned our election in history, not so in Japan or in other countries. Germany is the home and the heartland of the euro in Frankfurt, and despite the Greece problem, I'm sure that in the global economy, the euro will be and will stay an, an alternative first to the dollar and later on to the yuan. Germany has also, especially Eastern Germany, a very modern and productive in infrastructure and is internationally renowned for leading research institutes and specially transfer facilities, for example, the Max Planck Institute or the Fraunhofer Institute. One example, this institute precisely help the German car industry to reach a leading position once again through a transition from combustion engines now to electric <coughs> propulsion. My third general argument that Germany will be out of the crisis is the German economy is well pos positioned in the triad. We are in the heartland of the European Union we are the economic leading economy in Eastern Europe. German industry is very present in the NAFTA zone, and especially in Brazil. And we have a strong rates of growth in Asia, especially in India and in China. In my opinion, Germany separates itself from US, China, Japan, or other big competitors. Here, not only the large tax companies, La Société Anonyme pour notre ami français, but also many large mid-sized companies. My favorites are these so-called hidden, champion, hidden champions. These are production industry, one to five thousand people. And these hidden champions are extremely successful 
in the international economy I will relate later on. My first pragmatic or concrete <coughs> example is and stays the automotive industry. Germany is the only country in the world <coughs> that is home <coughs> of four premier automotive companies like Porsche, Audi, Mercedes and BMW. Competition inside Germany between these German top brands contributes to their constant improvements. There is also Lexus in Japan, no other luxury competitor if you can forget Cadillac or something very small car makers. While we are all produce <coughs> luxurious models, each brand also supplies medium sized and now a lot of small environmental friendly cars. The leading position of the German industry, and as I mentioned before, German industry, medium sized suppliers, service industry, one third of whole occupation in Germany is within these industries. The leading position <coughs> of the German automotive brands worldwide is also based on the unique mix mixture of innovative and highly specialized small and medium sized suppliers. They are, in my opinion, the real true source of value and possess a particularly motivating business culture, which I will refer later because for your team, cultural group is that very important. One of the most impressive examples is, in this times, the cooperation of German medium-sized suppliers with the Indian automotive manufacturer Tata to produce a very cheap but reliable car for four persons, the so-called Nano, only for 1,500 euros in uh, Europe. Unbelievable. One which will soon be on the markets of developing and newly industrial countries. The secret of this success is that Indian engineers working for German hidden champions in India have do developed country-specific technologies, which were when combined with German quality and process, process know-how, they are produced with low Indian labor costs, but also with German quality know-how. In my opinion, the Nano is a very good example for a real global cooperation, which has led to a real win-win situation, both for India, but also for Germany. My second uh, example is the German middle class business. There is no country worldwide where so many small and mid-sized entrepreneurs in Germany. 95% of all enterprises in Germany are not big tax business. They are small and medium-sized companies. The larger international mid-sized entrepreneurs, the so-called hidden champion, have the following not only economical, I think for your topic, but also very cultural advantages in the international field. Four concrete examples. First, long time sustainable business philosophy. For example, a quote of the founder of, uh, in Stuttgart, in my home, Robert Bosch, who, who is a very famous, beginning a very small company, but now number one supplier in automotive industry, number one is Bosch, number two is Denso. He said, modest management is the most productive on a long-term basis. And he said this 70 years ago. And if you miss quotes for investment bank, they couldn't understand. Second thing is German business culture in these mid-sized companies is very different from large conglomerates. It's very personal, it's very, pers it's very motivating for the individual, and it's also enriching. Also a quote 
of a people who is working in such a company. He said, if you do your occupation gladly, you don't have to work. Third point is uh, these companies have a extreme customer proximity, customer satisfaction. Quote of an entrepreneur, a big entrepreneur, an old entrepreneur of 70 years old, I know almost every, even with my small customers all over the world personally, and I visit him all year once. Fourth, this medium-sized company have for a long time, in my opinion, a real and rich global focus. Also, one quote, I expect my employees to be real ambassadors, culturally curious, and not only turnover maximizers. I think with four examples, with short description of my favorites, the so-called business culture in the Hidden Champions shows that also, or rather in per particular, in the international sense, cultural sensibility remains a highly important point in the debate concerning globalization, which unfortunately is not recognized enough by politics and science. Thank you very, mu very much for my short and pragmatic speech. And if there are some questions, I will try it, and some people could help if these are very special teams. Thank you much. Mm -hmm.